Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach chicken shop inventory management system using uh, React. So how to make the inventory in React. So here you can see here, if I enter the quantity, here you can have a type 2 types, gram and kilogram. Here, if the 1 kilo kilogram price would be uh, 140, 140 rupees. Now I am going to calculate two quantity between 2 kilos. Here, here quantity 2 kilos, here the price will be calculated at 280. If it is 5 kilos, here, if you enter the kilos, here it will be automatically calculated and the final total will be displayed and so Here this quantity. So if you are onto the gram calculation, if it is a 500 gram, your type 500 gram here, 70 rupees. The 1 kilo is a, uh, 140, the 5 kilogram is calculated as 70. Okay, the very simple, this program. How to do here the 250, what about here? 35. Right. How to do this simple inventory management system in uh, React? Let me see. Right. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to first install the React. So first I'm going to go to the Google. Uh, I'm going to go to set the folder on G. Here I'm going to install it. F drive uh, React inventory. Here I'm going to type CMD. Uh, CMD here to get started React. Get started React. Create a new app. Click on this. Copy it. Uh, back to my F drive, right? React, right? React inventory. This is my project name. Here I'm going to invite, install it. You have to write CMD. You have to paste on the command. Uh, here you have to npx react, right? You have to install just Y. Okay, yes. This is a uh, right. Okay. Let's start to install my React. Okay, here to wait until the installation packages installation is completed. Now here you can see here the installation has been completed. I'm going to open this folder uh, in VS Code. Editor. So I'm going to type cd my app. Press enter key. Let's go inside the folder. I'm going to open on the VS Code port space dot. It will be open on the VS Code editor. Look like this. Now I'm going to go to Run the project, so just authorize. So you have to welcome your, your right? uh, new terminal. Here I'm going to type in npm start. Run the, you have to run it on npm start to run that. So here yeah, we are already running that app in my demo. So I'm going to type, now you can see here the home page is displayed successfully. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to create a new folder. So go to the public now here. Uh, I'm going to create a new folder. So this is the index.html. This is the the how the flow React is working. This is here index.html. Go inside the public for index.html. It called the divide root. It is coming from here index.html. Here we have to call the root here. Okay. So here you have rendering the app. Okay, you can see the app. This is coming from here, app.js. Here it will rendering and we have to produce the output. Now here instead of that, we have to remove here, index.app.js. This all the things you have to remove it. We have to this div style also, we have to remove it. We have to write h1. We have to write hello. Control S to save. Or you can save, file, save. Now you can see the output is hello is displayed. This is how your React is working. Now I'm going to go to create a new component. So SRC, right click here folder is a component. Folder, press enter key. Here I'm going to create a new component which is a uh, inventory. Inventory. 
dot you can write jsx so yeah jsx now here, here what you are going to do is this component the same thing just copy and paste it over here here this out here the component name which is a inventory you just right click rename control c to copy paste it over here if you space it you have to import uh, input the function you have to output it if you export default uh, inventory it will be produced the output Okay, you can call, if you are right like this, you can call anywhere of the program, right. Now here, what you are going to do is here, you have to write it. Here you can see this file I am going to call it. So how to call it? Here, instead of the HTML, you have to write the component name which is what is inventory. Inventory. So press enter key here. The path is automatically generated. Here we have to close it. Now file save all. Now let's check through the output. Hello, it's display. Right. Perfect. Now what you are going to do is here I am going to produce the HTML file. Okay, so HTML. Uh, I am going to this file. Don't worry, I'll be explain it. Simple HTML file. I'll be attached it here. Right. Now you can see over here. I am making a simple container. Container is started here. Close it here. Okay. Inside the content, content I have tried the heading, which is a uh, bootstrap ID alert primer. Here, this one should be. I am going to get the style from here. Bootstrap message box. Here, you have a you having a different different style. What is the style you you, you want? You can get in from here. One of these you can select uh, out of this. Okay, you can select out of this. Okay, here you can copy. Copy the style, whatever you need. Style the adding. Okay, that's how we have put it here. Right? After that, we have a small form. Simple form. This form consists of one input field, another one is a drop down field. So if you have two fields, okay. After that, it coming from the one message. Okay, the quantity also this this display. After that, one uh, total. Okay, right? It will be display on that input field. First input file we will write in React. This is the basic things. Uh, the div is started and close it. It is a basic uh, bootstrap. Okay, label input box. It will coming along with the type and class form control is a bootstrap and placeholder. In React, you have to additionally you have to add this this line. <coughs> on click event set quantity. We have to create it on the uh, use state later. Event target value what is the meaning of this one what is the value you are typing on on the quantity it will be take the value that's why the on change will be work okay it will be store the value right the say, second theme is a, a drop down a type drop down it's a select so most types of value selects your right selects your right on change events set selects your right event target value here you right two different options gram and kilogram what i did here is here what I did here is, if you are select a kilogram, it select as a kilogram. If it is a gram, it is select as gram. Okay, that's how you have selected. Okay, that's why set selects means multiple choice, priority one option. If you want the gram, it is gram should be selected. If it's kilogram, it will be kilogram will be selected. What is the option you have selected? Right, according to the price will be calculated. Right. Okay. Right. The final calculation will be displayed over here, here and here. Right. So let's do the calculation part. So what you're going to do is you have to write the uh, okay, sorry for that. Sorry, you have to undo this all the things. Because not here, we have to write it here. We only call the inventory only. You have to this all the things we have to do it in the inventory.js. Okay, sorry for that. You have to paste it over here. Right? So here, right click, we have to Okay, if there will be the extension which is a uh, this course this is code formatter. So write the extension formatter. So go to the formatter. Here this is the pretest code formatter. You have to install that. So we, we can in, in VS Code Editor we can easily code format the code simple. So you have to uh, install this particular code formatter extension, it which will be help you to uh, format your code simple, 
right after install it right it will be begin installing here you can get the icon uh here now if you right click uh still installing that's why you can have a format here it will be installed you can get the option for format document click on this one configure right sorry right click format document configure it's formatted here it's format the codes okay we now need to format the codes again it will be simple it's to can format the codes okay simply you, you 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 don't need to waste your time right inside the function what you're going to do is you have to add the state state values to set the values so here we have tried the import if you are you have to import the state first in react we have to maintain with the state this is must import use state you have to call the namespace use state from react when you install the react this this use state is coming from okay right inside this function you have to make the calculation part so back to so write like this simply this code copyright the simple js code here here if you are write that use case you have to write like this use case use state right you gram okay gr gram or kilogram okay if you want we we, we we don't need them at the moment right now here select select mean what is the value you are selected here right this drop down so you have to write this one set select set select mean if it is set select the value and we are set select it will be selected like both here we have to write like this and you have to put it to the state how does quantity what is the quantity you are typing here set set quantity okay set quantity you have to write to write to here you have to create the variables quantity right now here the function you have to write the sound function calculate okay this calculate function what you are doing here is uh what's the did here is here if quantity is not in the it will be returning as zero if the quantities you have select as kilogram it will be displayed that you have one kilogram i have to put it the price as 200 okay one kilogram price is 200 right so if you are if the person select as kilogram the price uh, the total will be calculated the according to the option if it is if the option is select as kilogram the total is calculated as a kilogram if the if if the user select as a gram the it will be calculated as a gram calculation okay so if it's kilogram it will be calculated returning uh, one kilogram you can what's the uh, how many quantity you entered the entered here it calculated here if it is a gram it will divide by thousand and calculate at the price right if the calculate the price and you have to put in the calling the price over here the calculation here if you are correct total will be display over here okay how the selected selected value quantity so this is all the things what is the value you are selected what is the kilogram or gram it will be displayed what is the quantity you are given all things you have to display on here simple uh alert messages right here the price will be calling finally here this also you have to put into the message box simply for attractive purpose now let's save all we are running we will just save all back to our output why the output is coming look like this we haven't had the bootstrap flagging style so go to the bootstrap official side bootstrap click on this get bootstrap here click on this style back to your vs code editor go to the project index.html you are paste inside the ad tag not what tag, inside the ad tag control is to save all back to your from here it's coming now you are enter the quantity select as kilogram i i want to calculate the two kilograms so if you add two simply here the total will be calculated according to the quantity you are given okay according to the quantity you are given if you are select as a gram if you are 500 gram here it will be called as a 500 as 100 it's a very simple inventory in uh, react okay without refreshing the page i hope you guys will understood the things well if you have any doubt you let me know that uh, know that thank you for watching